Okay, so they're saying is, what they're saying is, ovary is a swollen basal portion. So it looks something like this. Again, it's it's this is a more realistic cup size cup size shape because it contains so much, right? After fertilization, pollination, and everything, the ovary is the one that becomes the fleshy fruit, right? So the ovary is the swollen basal part composed of one or more or one or many carpels. Again, it can consist of many. Right. In the case of stigma, also, it can be you can have one or many. But that is, of course, in the case of lobes. But in the case of ovary, we're talking about the carpels. Now, the inner cavity of the ovary may be a single chamber or divided into several chambers called locules. So locules are nothing but basic different chambers. It can be of different types double chambers triple chambers it can be basically of different types it can be yes its structure is basically different so it can either be single it can either be single membrane or it can be divided into several chambers called locules now each containing a number of rounded bodies called the ovules so as i said it can be of any different type and if it's like this the one as the one i drew each chamber will have one ovule and every ovule will have an will have a egg so the cushion or swollen region in the ovary attaching the ovule to the wall of the ovary is called as the placenta okay in the uh, when we were studying uh, sorry when we were studying about the reproduction animal chapter as well right we we saw the placenta what was the placenta it was the it was the cord that connecting connected the mom to the baby similarly in this case also in the case in the case of a plant or a flower the ovary is attached to the ovule by the placenta okay now in most plants the flowers are bisexual they have both male and female parts in many plants the female and males are separated and such plants are of two types all right so what are those two types first one is monoecious plant mono one oecium house okay mono one oecium house i'll just call it monoecious <laughs> so monoecious plant so male and female flowers grow on the same plant example is maize cucumber pumpkin etc now die as in two right now male flowers they are the stem staminate and the female flowers are the pistillate they grow on different plants and they are palm and papaya okay so you have monoecious and dioecious now mono is one and oecium is house in the case of house as in see you have one fe female and one male so it becomes a house in the case of dioecious you have male flowers and female flowers and they grow on different plants okay now let's have a quick progress check mention if the following statements are true or false flowers can be complete or incomplete true a flower typically has six whorls. False. That's false. Right? It only has four whorls. Then bracts are usually green, but sometimes large and colorful. That's true. Then the nasturtium has nectaries. That's true. Nasturtium is an example of nectaries. Then the stamens and carpels are the male and female parts. That's true. Stamen is the male and carpel is the female. Then the prefix gamo is used whenever the floral whorls are fused. That is false. Am I right when I said false? Was I right? Well, post it in the comment section below. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, I wasn't. It's actually true because polysepalis is when they're free, while gamosepalis meaning they're fused. Right now, stigma may be. Simple or divided into two or more lobes. That's true. That's true. They may be simple. They can be divided into one lobe or it may be divided into two or more lobes. Now, papaya is a monoecious plant. That's a false. Papaya comes under dioecious di plants where uh, only one of the two, one of 
the two reproductive parts of a plant are available or they're present, it's either the staminate or the pistillate, basically. Now, one more thing to make sure is don't get confused between unisexual and dioecious plants. Both of them are different. Only The only thing is that in monoecious, both of them grow on the same plant. But in dioecious, they grow on different plants. That's the only difference. All right. So you can say male in one and female in the other. Okay. So don't get confused between both of them. Moving on. The inflorence and placentation. I know it's been very long. It's almost been 45 minutes. But... Having said so, this is the last page. We have about two paragraphs left now. Okay, so inflorescence is the mode of arrangement of flowers on the axis of a plant. Mode of arrangement of flowers. So a flower can be present any way, and they are differentiated into two parts, and this called as inflorescence. Now the flowers may be arranged in several different ways in different plants. This manner manner of arrangement is termed as inflorescence. So you can, as you can see over here, it can be singly either at the apex of the main stem or at terminal apex of the lateral branches and spike as in the axils of the leaf. So this is the leaf and over here it is present. And when I say or talk about the other type, that's it's singly either at the apex or the terminal apex or the lateral branches basically. Now placenta is the tissue that attaches the ovule to the wall of the ovary as we read before and the growing out of the axils of different leaves reaching the same level making a cluster and the axil is laterally flattened making a disc as in sunflower and the youngest flowers are in center and oldest in the periphery. Okay, so there are also two types, and these are the two types. Then, placentation is the manner in which the ovules are arranged attached to the wall of the ovary. Basically, the same. Placenta is the cord, and placentation is the process. Not the process, but in the manner. It's the manner in which it's the manner in which it is present, or or it is attached. Now, ovules turn into seeds in the mature fruits, transformed ovary. Uh, their different arrangements can be seen in fruits like peas, tomatoes, mangoes and lotus. Now some points to remember, some points to take away from this chapter right over here is flower is a reproductive organ. Essential parts of a flower include the stamens. Basically all the points that you can go through one day before your examination just for a division. All right. And with this, we come to an end of this chapter. I hope you all understood this chapter, each and every part of it. If you have any doubts, post it in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to solve them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.